Hello, this is Dr. Vinay. We are in the city of Hyderabad in Telangana with Dr. Rajalakshmi over here and Dr. Hashim over here. And we are trying to understand the cautery unit. Now, this is a 4 hand unit. Let me introduce you to the unit. So, there is a power switch over here, 5 ampere plug. There is a switch over here on back. Once I switch it on, uh, when I have a power supply over here. So, the most important thing that you need to understand is the cautery unit needs an earthing. So, this is an earthing cable over here. So, this is a metal earthing. So, your you need to use either ultrasound gel or a wet cloth or a mop over here. It has to be under the patient. And there is an instruction over here of patient plate. There is an indicator over here that is not connected at the moment. And the moment I indicate the light has gone. Okay. So I have connected the patient plate over here which is so early. Now we have a lot of options over here. Now there is a cut option, there is a quag option, there is unipolar option. And there is a bipolar option, there is hand operated switch option and a foot operated switch option. So let me go through it quickly. I usually prefer the hand operated option. This is called the unipolar. So these are autoclavable and these are available at disposable options as well. So these can be autoclaved, these can be cleaned. So once you are doing a procedure, you can just attach it over here. There is a cut option over here and there is a coagulate option over here. So when you are doing surgery with a proper like a surgical attire, uh, on a patient, you are in a position to do precisely either cut or coagulate one thing at a time. And this is the setting over here. If you see carefully, it has a typical three options of plug options over here. And uh, it's very difficult to make a mistake over here. You got this correlate like perfectly over here. And I have connected this over here. And now there is an option over here of active and hand switches. Okay, so I have collected this as an option and then. This is one option, the cut option. So when I press this option, it's around 35 to 45. You should not collect, uh, select a very high option because it causes heat trauma. Just make sure you have selected one just to adequately uh, serve the purpose. So this is the cut option and this is the coagulate option. So when I put the coag button, I have the coag option, that cut option. No. So this is the hand operated switch. Now I'm going to leave it aside for a moment. Okay. And now let's see the foot operated one. So the foot operated one is also an option. Now imagine I want it to come in the video, so I'm going to keep it on the table. So this is the cut option and this is the coagulate option. It's a foot operated option. And there is an option of this. So I'm going to connect this monopolar foot switch over here. And I am going to there are options over here. So again it's very difficult to make a mistake because they go they fit exactly uh, properly over here. Okay. And here, okay, and now I have the switch. So, this is the cut option over here, and this is the coordination. Imagine this being the foot, so I can do the cut. And I have the, now, this is totally up to the surgeon's preference to see uh, which one he wants to use. Now, let's see if we have the bipolar option. Now, the bipolar also, we have <coughs> options over here. Now, if you see, this is the switch. Uh, for bipolar, I'm going to remove this out of our side at the moment. You can keep it turned off. Okay, so this is the bipolar option. So there is a provision over here. So this is the bipolar setting over here. This is the probe where you can cut and coagulate at the same time. And then this is the setting over here for bipolar. So I connect it over here. I connect it over here. And then when you do this, one minute. No, not that. So we need to go for a bipolar foot switch. Yeah. This is monopolar foot switch. Right now I need to have a bipolar foot switch for the bipolar option because when I use this, I need the bipolar option. So this is a bipolar. It's a plug over here. If you see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this again. Okay. Now this is the bipolar option. Now this is the monopolar option. Very straightforward, so don't get confused or don't get upset uh, because there are so many wires and so many connections. Just find out what is needed uh, for your procedure. Just work on one switch at a time. There are instructions, so it should not be a problem. Okay, so this is the bipolar option with my switch. Okay, okay, so this is your bipolar option and this. Can you see sparks over here? So this will help you to coagulate as less fat.
So this is in short about the uh, artery unit and it is going to be useful for arresting bleeding especially if you have a diffuse blood supply or tumors, or wards or places where you can't use suture materials and yes it does cause delay in wound healing because of uh, the you know, use of heat and cautery and electricity and you should not be using any inflammatory solutions when you are using cotton. That's very important that includes a spirit and that includes any inflammatory uh, like antiseptics that we have. And uh, make sure that the early is on, you don't want to get electrocuted. Don't worry, you won't die out of it, but definitely it's going to give you a shock. So make sure this is lubricated and depending upon the surgeon preference, you have unipolar option, bipolar option, hand operated switch, foot operated switch. And then the settings are there. Yeah, yeah, there is pure cut, blend one, blend two, and endo cut. Usually, blend one, blend two, or pure cut suits our purpose very well. For coagulation, there is a spray spray mode, and there is a fulgurate mode. Spray mode is for superficial, and fulgurate is for more deep, like bigger vessels or bigger areas. And uh, it is uh, again up to the preference of the surgeon. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, go video.